a moon in 60 seconds. This is Phobos. It's the largest of the two moons of Mars, measuring between 20 to 30 kilometers across. Phobos was discovered by Asaph Hall on the 18th of August, 1877, at a naval observatory based in Washington, D.C., in a town called Foggy Bottom. <coughs> This potato-shaped moon is named after Phobos, the personification of fear and panic in Greek mythology, who was also the son of Ares, the Greek version of Mars. Originally, it was thought Phobos was an asteroid captured by Mars' gravitational pull. Makes sense. It does look like an asteroid. But infrared scans of Phobos show it's made of material similar to the stuff found on the surface of Mars, meaning Phobos could have formed from debris thrown up into space from a giant impact on Mars. Makes sense. Mars is covered in big-ass craters. Even more studies found that Phobos is probably full of caverns and voids, suggesting this moon is a rubble pile surrounded by a thin crust. Sadly, Phobos definitely will be a rubble pile one day, as it's getting 2 centimetres closer to Mars each year, and eventually, 30 to 50 million years from now, Phobos will be torn apart by the Martian gravity, with some parts forming a ring and other parts raining down on the very planet that destroyed it. And that's Phobos.